we made it. With the byways left behind, your beginnings have ended. I bid you welcome to the Feywilds in earnest. This realm has long been forgotten by the Fey, left in limbo, not unlike you. How fitting. And thus, here is yours to put that, but beware. In short time, darkness will descend, and with it, while you play carpenter, there are nooks in these surrounding wilds I must scrub for the knowledge. This is the playtest on the game Nightingale, which is out this month. It's out on the 22nd of February, so not long to wait now, guys. I've got this one on my wish list. Um, it's really cool. I did must say I enjoyed the play test as well. I liked how they would chop there, it's just like little nice little features on it. Um, so I'll probably definitely buying this game. You can do craft on it, as you can see. You can chop what you would like to do on most games. Uh, it's got a Victorian feel to it though, as you can see with his character. Victorian weapons and things and there's a card games to play in it. Kinda like where you well, you collect things and it goes onto your cards and basically that will um, make you be able to go to different worlds depending on what you collect on the cards it'll be what that world will be like it's going to be multiplayer or solo if you want um, I think a lot of people will be playing multiplayer on it though somehow it's, I mean obviously this is just a test but it still looks pretty good already um, I'm sure the uh, final game at the end of this month will be a uh, very polished. I was going to have a little look around and try doing a bit of teleporting, but to be honest, I ended up just hunting and shooting things. And that was a lot of fun as well, in itself. I quit my rifle and went and did a bit of shooting. It felt nice. I kept switching. You'll see I keep switching there a lot on this. You'll see out through this video. It's because you can put things in either hand. So you can have a torch in one hand and a Implement in another hand. But when you get your rifle out, you can only obviously have that in both your hands. Um, but I keep uh, switching between those. As I get used to the game. Uh, you can obviously harvest things. My backpack was full, so I didn't really pick much thing, many things up. But I already picked loads of uh, things up for building, because like I say, you can craft, so you can build yourself a, a base. That's where your tasks up there. Came across these uh, wolves, a pack of them. I was about to take aim at some of them, this this uh, wolf jumped me. Like I said, there you am, get the uh, torch out there. That's because goes back to saying you can put things in your hand. It's going to be a very detailed game. I think it's going to be a, a lot of fun. And it feels satisfying as well when you shoot. I think your weapons might take damage as well, you know. Or wear away. Look like a little bar underneath them. And there's going to be able to do with potions on this as well, so there'll be all that kind of stuff. Alchemist stuff, if you want to do that kind of thing. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. Look at that wolf, look at his dead, dead friend there. That's a nice touch. It just feels satisfying when you kill them as well. Obviously you can melee them as well, like so. <laughs> Don't do much damage though, because it just took six off them. I just wanted to check it out and see how much it did on them. Obviously you're best just, as you might imagine, shooting. But obviously if you're getting jumped in between reloading, just give them a whack of the butt of the rifle. I don't know if it's uh, not up to a PvP actually. Maybe you can attack other players, but I don't know if you want to do that anyway. You probably want to team up on this. It's going to be a pretty wild game by the looks of it. I would definitely uh, suggest buying it, guys. I've already got one pre-bought, actually, in this game. But I don't want to talk about that now, because I'm talking about this game. But I'm kind of going to see if I can afford to get this as well now. Like I said, it's been in my wish list. But it looked bloody good, but I didn't know it was going to be this good. And this was just a quick play around on it. I just had a quick mess around. Like I say, I probably could have made more useful time out of it. But I just really enjoyed the hunting aspect. Didn't really get to uh, travel to any other worlds. But we'll do that when we buy the game. Do you know what I mean? We'll uh, 
put it on here for you. I realised you could pick these little things up. I had room for these, so I started to pick them up. I collected quite a few. I think they're to do with the portal thing as well. Not quite worked it all out yet. Came across this thing. I presume this is one of like the portal things. Uh, I just didn't know what I was doing really. But I ended up opening to some bad guys coming in. Which I didn't really intend to do, intentionally. Got a bit of a shock, just saw one jump underneath for there. So I thought I'd better get down. It looks really weird. It's got some kind of box on it's looking in. They obviously weren't friendly. Let's get some quick reloads in on this. I'm not sure what price the game's going to be. If you're not, even if it was like 40 quid, I'd still buy it. it. Might be a little bit more than that, I don't know. It might be cheaper. Who knows? I don't normally play a lot for games, but I would, I would play a lot for this. There's so much to do on it. Yeah, so it's only like uh, early 2024. I've already got a new game that I've been playing. I've got a new one that will be unlocking this month and then I'm going to be getting this one. That's going to be three games. <laughs> I'm going to be busy. I'll bring you some gameplay of the other games, like the one that I bought the other day. Like I said, I don't have any on here because I'm doing about this one really. But you'll see those in good time. I was just having a good old look around, didn't really know what was going on. If you like all that kind of stuff, there's all that, which I don't mind actually. It's not too bad, uh, little stories and stuff. It just looks so cool. <laughs> These pigs are a bit aggressive. I don't know what the problem is, but I just can see they're easy to deal with. I ran out of bullets really on that, I only had a few left so I switched my shotgun. Which is nice looking, look at the work on that. Really nice. They've worked really hard on this, guy, this uh, game, the people making it. And I'm sure some people that play this will be like amazed on the card part of it. I think I'll probably struggle on that aspect of the game. But once I get the hang of it, we'll. Uh, I'll pick up all the tricks and tricks. I don't know why they, where these guys came from. Hopefully they teleported in. Looked a bit different to the other guys that attacked me. A bit more aggressive as well. Shotgun's not as powerful as a rifle. Anyway, really enjoyed the, doing the play test and uh, hope you guys enjoy watching it. Please sub a like, it really helps me out. And uh, Keep an eye out for this game. When I start to bring more footage of it, when it releases, I'll buy it. Uh, and you guys should buy it yourself. I might see you out there on this game. Give me a holly if you uh, do get it and you want to play. Right, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.